All right, what's up with it, y'all? It's your homeboy, Rockin' Shop, man. And I'm coming back at y'all with some older gameplay right here, man. This is back when I was level 12 prestige. It was uh, right around the time where I really started kicking it in the gear, trying to get to to level 15 prestige, man. So I started going around giving them the action. Y'all see right here, man. I made the the silly, silly mistake of using the Akimbo, the Akimbo Scorpion Madness on this map. And this, I mean, I'm not going to say that you can't use these guns on this map. It's just that you have to have the correct uh, perk setup. You know what I'm saying? You got to have Marathon Pro. That's number one. You got to get you got to get around there quick. You know these guns don't have that much range, so you got to get around there quick. And I I didn't have that, and so I, I quickly realized that during this match. And uh, you know I have to fix it with the AK Daddy. You feel me? I had to get the AK going. You see right there. Plus there's new to me and all that bullshit. It's time to get that flat jacket nasty too. <clears throat> But yeah, man, basically, this, with this video, the reason why I was putting this up, man, I just wanted to put it up and show you that, uh, killstreaks, man, can, can make you from nothing to something, straight up. It can make you, uh, turn from basically just a, a average player on your team to a dude putting up 60 plus kills, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I really feel like what NASA won, like, he talks about, like, how, like, people run high kill streaks and they get a high kill death ratio and make them feel like they're good. Which, I mean, I feel what he's saying, like, everybody ain't good because you get high kill streaks, but then, you know, at the same time, it did take some skill to get up to those high Look at that motherfucker out and always trying to fuck with me, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel what he's saying, but my argument with that is, you know, what it, it, it take people, you know, people got to get up to that certain kill streak. But then, you know, this, this gameplay shows you that it's not hard to put up kill streaks, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got to set up, like, Especially on a game type like this. I know I'm probably going to get some flack. People are going to say I'm camping. Which I was. I, I fully admit it. But, uh. It's the. It's, it's the, uh. My bad. I'm over here tripping, y'all. But basically, what I was doing with that, okay, it basically showed you what people are talking about. Technically playing smart. You know what I'm saying? I have to work these dudes out right here. But, uh. Yeah, I forgot. It was something else I wanted to talk about. But yeah, man, basically up, up in this video, you see like right now, man, I, I, how many kills have I gotten? I think I only gotten like three or four kills. That's probably like kill number five or six. Y'all get taken out in the back. I, I don't know how I didn't see that dude right there. All right, so now now it's time to get the action going. But yeah, man, how y'all been feeling, man? <laughs> no, I saw that every game. Uh, I got some... I got some gold gun gameplay with the AK-74U. I know a lot of people don't like to watch the AK-74U. I, I have no, not a problem with the AK-74U. To me, it's other guns that outbeat it. But it is a very powerful gun. I will admit that. I was playing with that shit with Rapid Fire the other night. And it is a very powerful gun. But the, the argument I got about Rapid Fire is Rapid Fire for the AK-74U only work good for people with good aim. And... And honestly, I'm not one of them people. I, I got decent aim, man. I I got that inconsistent aim, you know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing and a bad thing sometimes because, you know, uh, the reason I say it's inconsistent because some games, I, you know, my aim would just be on deck. But then you got games like this where my aim is just all over the place. So I take advantage of those that whoever had an AK dual mag, I picked up their bullets. And, you know, I had over 200 rounds, so... Basically, I do like what people are saying right here. I was playing smart. You know, I was stick behind these barrels. All the opposing team, all they can see is my head. You know what I'm saying? That's what they got to hit. And I basically just pick them off. I know they got the C flag. <clears throat> they got the C flag and I'm picking them off. So, you know. This is this example of smart gameplay. And how, and how like, you know, basically camper can benefit you. But you got to be an effective camper. You know what I'm saying? This is where I talk about people who... I say camp good. You see how I turn around quick? I know I, we got the SR-71 up, but this is what I'm saying. People, your average Joe that come on to play Call of Duty, they don't really even look at the radar, so you know what I'm saying? They're not going to take advantage of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to peep like I'll peep right here. There's two dudes coming behind me. So I drop down, lay prone, use that to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm still not going to be stupid and run across the bridge. So I, you know what I'm saying? I throw the Michael Vick. You feel me? <laughs> Get my gunship. You see right here, man. The gunship and the chopper gunner. It just gets extra nasty. 
And you can't say they wasn't trying to shoot me down. They, they tried to shoot me down. It's just that this is one of those games where I, I did real good with the gunship, man. I, I put it on them when I saw they was trying to shoot me down. That's the thing. When you're in a gunship and a chopper gunner, you want to make sure that you're shooting the person that's trying to shoot you down. And how do you know if, that, if the person is trying to shoot you down? What people don't realize is the people that's trying to shoot you down, they red dots actually blink. And if you don't know that, you got to shoot at the red dots. And then, of course, it's the people that are standing still. So if, if a person standing still and their red dot is blinking, that means they locked on to you. So you just need to shoot them first. But, yeah, man, you know, I'm not really one of them commentators like that, man. I was looking at my boy, Jaw Turkey, video he put up. And he was basically explaining everything he was doing, how he should have aimed down the side right here and did this right there. I, I felt what he was talking about, Jaw. If you watching this, job, I, I really felt what she was talking about in that video, man. I, I don't really like making my videos like that. So I like throwing some tips and tricks in here anyways. But to me, when people make videos like that, it kind of makes you sound like you're stupid. You know. I like to explain why I'm doing and what I'm doing some of the time. But yeah, man. It's your boy Rock, man. 60 plus with the high the high, high risk, high reward kill streets, man. Y'all see what it do, man. It gets nasty. You know, if y'all see a situation like that, man, take advantage of it. I mean... I know some people want to do the old Sandy Ravage, like from Modern Warfare 2, run in the spine and just kill everybody, which is fun, and I do that myself. But, you know, sometimes you just got to chill back, man, and get your kills. But, yeah, it's your boy, Rod. All right, peace.